CBS. Philip. Hi. Hi. Can you believe they're developing out at Raven Hill? Look, these houses aren't they great? Wow. Well, you and Jim house hunting? Yeah, yeah. I I didn't realize how much I missed having a, having a home of my own. Well, I'm I'm glad to see you. I'm so happy. Uh, you you want to sit down? Um, sure. Sure. So are um are you happy? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fine. We are okay. What happened out on that mountain, it doesn't it doesn't matter. We both agreed that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're still having trouble with it. Um, I don't know. You tell me. Does um does almost telling Harley count as trouble? I don't think you want to do that. Um, you don't want to do that for you. You don't want to do that for me. No. You don't want to do that for Jim. For Harley? For anybody. Doesn't mean it's easier to keep lying about it. It's not lying. It's, um... Well, take it from me. As your, as your ex-wife, sometimes that brutal honesty was just that. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't help telling anyone, Philip, because it doesn't change anything. I know anything, that, does yeah. it? I know, I know, I know. That's why I didn't do it. It's going to get easier. You just can't dwell on it. It's going to get easier. Yes. Philip, Philip, I, I want you to be happy. You have a good life. I know that. And so do you. That's the problem. <laughs> we both have everything that we want. Yes. Yes, we do. And nothing's going to change that. <laughs> you know, I love happy endings. Make love to me. Make that ecstatic ones. This would make a very nice survival video for anyone caught in a blizzard. Keep the limbs moving to ward off frostbite, share body heat, Yes, yeah, all in there. You just have to figure out how to use this. And when. Did you forget them? Cassie, I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. I know this hurts like hell now, but it's the best solution. What are you talking about? Richard. I saw him leave, and I know you're upset with me for telling him how you feel. But somebody has to stop this train wreck Richard before... Richard went back to his hotel to pack, because we're going back home to San Cristobal in the morning. Home? Yeah, that's right. The train's leaving the station. Richard and I are still getting married, so your big plan didn't work. doesn't make any sense. How could you do this? How could you tell him when you promised me you wouldn't? You love him, Cassie, and you know that's the one thing he can't live with. And you've been lying to him. And you still are. You lied to him just now, didn't you? You lost any right you had to talk to me oh, about this God, already. Cassie, you lied to him? I told you that I loved him because it was the only chance I had to get you to back off and leave him alone. That's the truth. No, it's not. Not all of it. This is none of your business. When did you become none of my business? When do you think I stopped caring about you? When you decided to betray my confidence for your own reasons. Your reasons, And what do you Reba? think those reasons are? Do you really think that I came over here because I want Richard so bad that I would rip him out of your arms if I had to? Is that what you think? You think I came over here to start some cat fight? Like he's ours to, to divide up between us? I don't know what you think, and I don't think you do either. But I can tell you one thing, it doesn't look pretty. No. This whole thing is a mess. I don't know everything I'm feeling, and I don't know what you're feeling or what Richard's no, feeling. No, Reva, you don't. But I do know one thing, Cassie. 
Richard is going through with his marriage out of convenience. And if you love him, Cassie, it's going to break your heart. Don't do that to yourself, please. End this now. Chris Hughes is mad about Abigail. I want to know exactly what's going on with you and my daughter, and I want to know now. But he's messed around with her mother. You seduced me. Is that the way it happened with Abigail? Now what happens next is everything. You stay as far away from her as possible, or I tell her everything. This week, as the world turns. It's everything. Hey. Hello. Hey. Uh, you, you want to join us? Oh, you know, actually, um, I have not had my handsome husband to myself in days. Well, she convinced me. Excuse us. Go. <laughs> have fun. I'm going to show you this house. It's, it's in the best school district. And uh, it actually has a pool, so Susan and Lizzie can have pool parties in the summer. Uh, mm -hmm. but no, 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 no. No pool parties under any circumstances. But what? what? You, do you listen to me? Well, I took Lizzie out for lunch the other day. She had a little catalog with her of summer fashions, which she showed to me and explained at great length. Oh. Do you have any idea what her... No? You think this is funny? You know what her idea of a swimsuit is? Yes. What happened to ruffles? No? What, what? I like those swimsuits. I did. I don't see any reason why she shouldn't be wearing them until she's 20 or 30, okay? <laughs> no, no, you, you, you don't have to worry. If she wants a swimsuit, I will take her, not Susan. Yeah. And speaking of which, Jim is supposed to be here by now. He was supposed to join me after his meeting with Matt. I'm worried. <clears throat> Probably just Ramble. You're right. You're right. He's working very hard these days. Yeah, I'm still so annoyed at the way that worked out with the Lewises. It was so stupid. They could have made so much money if they had stayed on the San Cristobal project. I know, I know, but they've landed a big contract now. Yeah, so. it doesn't matter though, Beth. It's still a startup. Yeah. Yeah, none of my business. Um, I do want you to know, if, if you or Lizzie need anything, you tell me, okay? We're fine. Jim is fine. He's, um, he's very good to us. He better be. Well, I guess I should stop by Jim's house and see if he's there. Well, hello. Hello. Sorry to interrupt, but Beth, if you've got a minute, I'd like to go over some vendors for the San Christopher project. Actually, she doesn't. She's on her way to meet Jim. Ah. But if Edmund has a question, I'll take care of it. Cool. Go meet Jim. Okay. I leave you in capable hands. All right. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Is, is there a problem with Jim? Uh, not that I know of. Please, have a seat. No. Thank you. Oh. Edmund? Hmm. I have a feeling that we still have a few things to clear up about your position here. Oh, don't tell me I violated the chain of command already. I mean, I, I thought Beth was my direct superior. Well, she would be. Under normal circumstances, she would be, but you're a special case. I, I promised your brother that I would take care of you. So from now on, you deal just with me. You need to leave. No. If you're leaving, then this is the last chance I have. To what? To save me? Or to hold on to Richard? What are you thinking, Reva? Because everything is settled and you're not a part of it, okay? What happened to you? This isn't you, Cassie. You don't want to spend the rest of your life with a man who doesn't love you. It's not that simple. If you needed money, why didn't you come to us? It doesn't matter what was going on with the business. We would have helped you. And I could be your poor relation? Your mess of a little sister that you have to take care of? No, thank Never you. Never think of you that way, ever. Cassie, let me help you. Don't make a decision like this because you feel like you're backed into a corner for money. It doesn't even make any sense. You say you want to save this farm, but you're leaving it. It's not about the money. No, you love Richard. And you want him to love you. Then give it a fair shot. Give it a clean shot. What? You say that you think Richard will get over me. Okay. Then don't marry him because you're both so desperate. Find out what's between you, with no strings attached. 
That's not okay with you, and you know it because you want him, Reba. No. I want us to be honest with each other, all of us. But you're afraid. You're afraid that if Richard wasn't so desperate for this arranged marriage and you weren't so desperate for money, that none of this would happen. But think about that, Cassie. Think about the kind of life you're signing up for. You're marrying a man you barely know. That's not true. Oh, come on, Cassie. You know less about each other than people who have dated three or four times, but you're ready to call it love and sign up for life. Is that what you want for yourself? Is that what you want for your kids? Do you think that's what Hart would want? Are you? Get out. No, Get Cassie. Out. No, don't you have any shame, Reba? Do you? Will you not say anything to get what you want here? I guess not. Because right now I feel like I'm fighting for your life. No, that's not true. And if I had any doubt, you settled it the minute you went to Richard with something I trusted you with. So go. So there's really nothing more I can say to you. Edmund, you're going to have a very important role in the San Cristobal project. You're going to, uh, you're going to promote it among your people. I'll have a place, is what you're saying? Of course. Well, I hope you'll find me of use before we start cutting ribbons. Edmund, any input you have, you bring it to me directly, and I will give it serious consideration. Thank you. What about input regarding other areas of Spalding? Well, you just got here. One thing at a time. Well, I'm a quick study. And I've been looking over the other divisions, seeing where I might lend a hand. And I think, for example, shipping. Edmund, I think... Let me be as clear about this as I possibly can. I appreciate you saving Beth and me. That's actually why you're here. But I also have a very good idea of what actually happened on that mountain. As do I. Oh, good. Great. Well, then you won't be at all surprised if I would like you to be a little less enterprising. You're here. You have a job. You're not in San Cristobal in jail. Be grateful for that. Tell you what, Philip. I've got something I'd like to show you. And I think it'll convince you that I'm invaluable to you. You think? Oh, I know so. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet that once you see it, you'll offer me any position of the company I want. Well, yes, ma'am. I mean, I understand that's the usual minimum down payment, but that can be waived if we're... No. No, no, no. I, I have a perfect credit rating, thank goodness. You can check that with my references at the bank and... I mean, can't we work out some kind of a schedule? You know, I mean, if I get the down payment to you in, let's say, six months and we can... Pro... Well, no, you see, I have to buy the house now because while I'm getting married and my fiance's kind of got her heart set on the house and we need the extra room and, and if we can... But, miss, we're not talking about that long a period of time. I mean, if you can... You don't have to get snippy with me, miss. This is just business. Uh-huh. And there's nothing you can do for me. Yeah. All right, okay. Can you hold on for a second? You, uh, you hired for me? Mm, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. Actually, I was just going to call you to uh, try to set up a little rendezvous with you to look at our brochures for the houses we're going to look at tomorrow. You are the most wonderful man in the whole world. I realize that. Thank you very much. What did I do wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, and it, it's not what you did anyhow. It's, it's what you're going to do. Because I have a big favor to ask you. Name it. You're not going to be mad. No, I'm not going to get mad. What, what's, what's the matter? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing. I'm very happy. I just, um... Well, there's just, there's, there's so much going on, and 
So I was wondering if we could put off buying a house. The door was open, sir. You all right? Yeah, sure. Well, I've taken care of the arrangements. We can leave first thing in the morning. Right. Are you, are you sure you're all right? I'm just saying goodbye to the house, I guess. Is that all? I had a visit from Reba. Oh. Yeah. She came by here to pick up the pieces. You know, she thought you came here and called off the wedding and then left. She's got a weird vision of reality, I guess. She'll get over it. Are you sure? Why, do you want to stay here, you know? Have, have you changed your mind? Is that it? No, no. I meant, are you, are you sure that she'll get over it. You seem, you seem un unhappy about leaving. I'm unhappy with the way things are, but that can't be helped, so. All right. Well, we're, we're off tomorrow, hmm? Yeah. And I'm sure that with time, everything will heal. All right, well, uh, I guess uh, I better get going then, right? Wait. There's lots to do. Don't. I mean, don't go back to your hotel. You stay here with me tonight. Um, no, I, I haven't been in the States long. Um, well, I, I work for a company called Lewis Construction. Because it's a, a startup company and they, they really didn't have a lot of money for employees. So I'm, I'm really looking for any kind of opening that you, you might have. Um, I hate to, to do this to you, but can I call you right back? Thank you. Good. Okay. Olivia. What are you doing here? I, I need to talk to you about my son, Jonathan. So anyway, by the time he got back, the whole staff was in the call room, and... Tony, you see, it's very important that you follow along, that way we can arrive at the punchline at the same time. I'm sorry. You know, what is it, one year and my wife is already sick of my voice? No, 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 never. What's up? Well, I, uh, I, I have a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about and I guess I just don't know how to start. Can you tell me anything? I know, but it's not exactly good news. Honey, it's our anniversary. I'll pick up the tab tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, first of all, um, I know that next weekend we had agreed to go away together That's and right. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Why? Well, because there's an international conference in Washington, and... Honey, we've, we've canceled this weekend twice already. I know, I know, and I, I'm sorry, but I made this commitment to but, these people, honey, and I can't back I, out now. I'm so swamped at the hospital, I and I don't know when I can reschedule, you know, with Michelle's trial coming I'm up and everything. sorry. I know this, and as soon as I get back, I promise you that we will schedule it again, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. It's kind of hard to start a family when we're not in the same zip code for more than two days. Yeah. Sweetie, what is it? Is that why... What? I mean, is that the only reason you wanted to go away for the weekend so that we could start trying to get pregnant? No, that's not the only reason. Sweetheart. 
Whatever's on your mind. Okay, well, just that is what's on me. my mind. That's what actually. Is it? Rick, I just. I don't know if I am ready to have children. I mean, I. I, I don't know if I want children. You mean not now? Abby, please. Don't tell me you never want to have children. Oh, boy. Well, I just realized that really sounded bad. And, and I know that's going to happen eventually, you know? I mean, right? But I, I'm not talking about that. That, that. That's not what I meant. I meant that, you know, you could spend the evening with me and uh, have dinner with me and Tammy and just kind of, you could sleep here. But if you'd rather not, or if no, no, that's no, something no, I, you want to do. I, I, I would love to. And I don't want to appear ungrateful, but, you know, the last time I was a house guest, the barn got a bit chilly, so I was wondering if you'd possibly maybe fit me in here somewhere I, I know I could find a spot for you. Okay. I, I mean, a place for you to sleep. Gosh, I feel like a teenager. I can't believe this. Quite. Except that we're, you know, not trying to get to first base without permission, so. First base. Never mind. Well, so, you like pasta? You want some pasta? The answer would be yes, because that's what I'm cooking. All right, yes, I would love some. Great. Eating's easier, you know. Yes. Dinner's going to be ready soon, so... Spaghetti? Yes, spaghetti. Hey. Just the way you like it, and um, Richard's going to stay for dinner. I'm sitting next to him. Well, of course <laughs> you are, my dear. Of course you are. You excited about the trip tomorrow? Yeah, but... Kind of weird leaving school, but I think I know enough. Ah, oh. uh, nice try, but you're still going to school. In fact, you'll be going to the finest schools in all the land. But do we still get summers and Fourth of July off? On the Fourth of July? Well, of course, you know, I've arranged for firecrackers to be imported just for you. <laughs> Tammy, I don't want you to miss anything that you love. You'll be able to come back here and visit your friends whenever you like, and... As a matter of fact, we can have them come and visit us, huh? In San Cristobal, they can ride the ponies with you and play on the beach, all sorts of things. But can we have bunk beds for when they stay over? Well, of course you can. With canopies? Canopied bunk beds. Now, uh -huh. that's, a, that's, that's a good idea, actually. We have to have bunk beds with canopies, because it's a palace. You're quite right. I had forgotten about the canopy edict that we passed not too long ago. All right, canopies all around. Especially for you. Big, fluffy bed with the canopy, of course, and curtains just for you and Mommy. Okay, break it up. So, um, have you finished eating? Yep. Yeah. You know what time it is? Mom. Mom, it's late. But Richard, busy day tomorrow. But Richard and I was having a discussion. Well, you can discuss more on the airplane tomorrow, okay? Okay. Please. Good okay. night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Prince Richard. Good night, Lady Tammy. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> Good night, Kelly. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, I think someone has a major crush. Well, I can't help it. You know, she's uh, she's very charming. Uh huh. I could hear her yapping your ear off when I was in the kitchen. Is everything okay? Yes, yeah, no problem. Okay. What was she saying? Well, she was talking about uh, let's see, uh, hairstyles, um, cooking, and sports. I think. No more about beds. I hope. No. Sorry about that. That's quite all right. It's perfectly natural. Not for us. What are you doing? Well, I, I can certainly help, right? Uh, no, I cannot see you washing dishes. Well, neither can I, but... Uh, look, um, this is where our servants come in handy, but I'm certainly not going to stay out here while you work in the kitchen. Oh, servants, I don't think I can ever get used to that. Hey, look, you know, we're this close to having a really big accident here. Right. I'll tell you what. Why don't we both put the plate down, and we could have a dance instead. Nearly took my breath away. 
was one of the best Christmas presents I could have gotten. And I, I know that it was probably Marissa's idea, and I would just kind of like to tell her how much I appreciate it. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Well, I thought maybe the next time you, you talk to her that you I could tell her... I don't talk to my sister. I don't know where she is any more than you do. You know that. I know that's what we said we wanted. But now, with Edmund exiled here to the United States, I, I think that Marissa and Alfred are feeling a little more comfortable, and enough so that they tried to contact me, and I'm sure that Marissa, I'm assuming that she found look, a way to get in touch with you. Look, you assumed wrong. I'm sorry. So you really don't know where they are? I don't know where they are, and if there's nothing else, I was actually kind of busy, so of goodbye. Your move. I know that you are all, all set to buy the house and the furniture and the landscaping wait, 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 and all wait, wait, that. I, I thought that's what you wanted to. I do, I do, but I, I'm just not sure if I'm ready for that because I have a wedding to plan and, and Susan and Lizzie have to get used to living together and I just, I just don't know if, if all this change is good at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I want you... I want to make you happy, and I will do everything I can to do that. Please don't ask me to move back into the Spalding Mansion again. No, 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 I just, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Well, then what, you saying you want to move in here? We already discussed this. We both think the place is too small. The girls have to share a room together. I, I know, I, I, know I know that that's what I said, but now I think it's a good idea for the girls to share a room because, it, it, well, just, just for a while until, until we get settled. Uh -huh. And you'd rather move in here than get a new house? Look, I just, I don't want to take too much on. I want to, I want to have fun planning my wedding, okay? okay. And, and I just, mm. I think that if, if we're also trying to buy a house, I think it's going to be too stressful. And, uh, well, uh, if that's really what you want to do, yeah, okay, it okay. Is, yeah. It is, thank you, thank you. You don't, you don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's settled. So, um, hungry, are you hungry? I can make dinner. No, 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 no. I have something else in mind, my sweet. Fortunately, I can still afford good scotch. Here's to a successful partnership. <laughs> you don't give up, do you? And I have the scars to prove it. To persistence. Something we have in common. <laughs> Just for a laugh, Edmund, where, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I suppose it wouldn't be wise to say in your office. Uh, no. No, probably not. <laughs> How about nearby, then? Spalding Boardroom. That takes a lot of work. And the right resources. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah. I gotta take this, sorry. No problem. I can wait. We're gonna need a few more minutes. Okay. We talked about having a family a lot, Abby. I know. It's one of the things that we both agreed on. Yes. Before we got married. I know that, but I just don't think that I'm ready. Well, this is a very unpleasant surprise. I'm sorry. You know, before you got your hearing back, Abby, it was never any question about having children. I know that, and I never, I never thought that it would be, but you, you know how I was raised. You got married, you had kids, and that was it. And I don't think there's anything bad about that, but I'm starting to see that there are so many choices, and I just want to find out what some of them are. And I think if, the, if, if we ever have kids, then I think we should both want them. If we have children, if... You're making it sound like it's not even possible. No, no, that's not, that's, that's, that's not exactly what I'm saying. But I'm getting close, all right. This isn't fair. This, you, you can't decide this for both of us, Abby. This is my life, I'm too. not making a decision on my own. I'm talking to you about it. And it's not just about us. It's about a baby's life. A baby who deserves to have two parents who are ready to be parents. I 
I am changing. And I'm having so many new experiences. I feel like a kid myself. How can I have a baby knowing that? What kind of parent would I be? You would be a wonderful parent, Abby. The kind of parent that would understand her child from the inside out. I don't know what else to say. You know, I was, um... Uh, I thought I was a parent. Twice. I know. And both times it turned out to be a horrible lie. And you know I something? Know. It still hurts to this day. I'm sorry. I want to have children with you, Abby. I want to have children. And, and it was something that you knew how important it was before we got married. Yes, I know that. And you led, it, you led me to believe that it was important to you, it too. It is important. It is, it's so important that I, that I have to step back and think about it. I'm changing, Rick. I'm, I'm not trying to hurt you by changing. How could something this important this fundamental suddenly disappear from our lives. How? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I guess I'm... You know, I'm just overwhelmed by everything that's been happening lately, and... Maybe I just need some more time to think about it. That's all. Just some just, time just, to well, take, think. Take time. Yeah. Maybe if there's a chance that you'll change your mind, Abby. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess that's... Really? I just want to, you know, have some more time. Then take the time. Please. I'm sorry. I know that's not what you want. No, it's 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 exactly what I want. You. I want you to take the time, Abby, because this is an important decision. Right. And you know something? What? Once you've given some thought, I know that you want to have a family. Okay. okay. Mom, I can't find my blue dress anywhere. Uh, I thought you were in bed and we were going to finish packing in the morning. You're going to forget. No, I... Oh, please. Okay, okay, okay. Go upstairs. And I'll be there just a minute to help you. It's probably time to turn in. Yes, I think you're right. Well, you know, the guest room is upstairs, and it's the first door on the left. So I hope you're comfortable. Thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you for tonight and for everything and for coming back here. Well, I did it for me, too. I couldn't marry you if I thought that you wanted to be with somebody else. I am exactly where I want to be. Good night. Honey, everything is set for tomorrow for you and me and Zach. Yes, just us. Okay. All right. I love you, too. Bye. I'm sorry. It was important. No, no. I'm sure they all were. My wife and my son and I are taking a personal day tomorrow. Midweek holiday? I thought all you Americans were hopeless workaholics. We are, but I'm recovering. That's a, it's a funny thing about almost dying. It does wonders for your perspective. Right. Yes, it does. So, unlimited power over a business enterprise like Spalding is just a hobby to you? Compared to teaching my son how to walk? Yeah. I have to go. Was there something that you wanted to show me? <laughs> right. right. <clears throat> I'm proposing a new building site for the San Cristobal plant. There's better access transport lines, better labor, and it'll cost you roughly $10 million less to build. It's all in there. Where did you get this? I did my own expense. Local contacts you wouldn't have access to. Okay, well, thank you. I'll look it over. Good, but not 
tomorrow. You need to work on your recovery. Besides, your wife will never forgive me. Good night, Edmund. Good night. More important, she'd never forgive you. This can't be about revenge. It has to be about power. God, when do I use it? Have I told you lately <clears throat> all the reasons why I love you so much? I don't think so, but you may. <laughs> yeah, let, let's, let's go down that list, okay. shall we? Well, you're beautiful. Mm, like that one. Like that one. You laugh at all my dumb jokes. <laughs> you're beautiful. You, um, you let me ride with the top down in the car, even though it messes up your hair. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love your smile. I love your voice. And did I mention that, that you were extremely beautiful? No. <laughs> but the reason I really love you right now is, is what you did for me tonight. What? <laughs> you know, you are such a bad liar, and you did it anyway. What? What? You, you, you probably would have had me if, uh, if I didn't hear you sneak back out of the room when I was on the phone. I have no idea what you're talking Beth, about. Beth, you... Beth, I know you heard me on the phone with the bank. You know there's a cash problem. And now all of a sudden you, you don't want to move into a new house. No, that's, that's not true. Honey, that's, that's honey, not... honey. I know what you did. I know why you did it. And I love you for it. I like small houses. I grew, I grew up in a small house. I want you to know that I will get you that dream house you've always wanted. I promise. One day. One day. It'll be our home. Wherever we are together is my home. And that's all I want. You are going to get that and so much more from now on. I love you. You, no, no, I'm on a mission, packing mission for Tammy. What are you doing? Uh, I was misplaced my uh, my appointment book here. Yeah. Voila. And your mission? Oh, uh, pink sandals. She swears they're underneath pink this couch. Sandals. Uh, so. You mean these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be them. Thanks. You're welcome. Crazy. The locket that you sent Riva, do you have any idea what, what could happen if she finds out we're in touch? Well, she might suspect because she came by to ask me about it. 